Hey everybody, it's Eva Shockey here. I am in my kitchen right now and I'm sharing one of my favorite fish recipes with you. And you're gonna be happy to know it could be the easiest recipe that's ever existed. <laughs> and I cook it all the time and people always love it. You really only need three ingredients. Today I am using a filet of sea bass, which is delicious. We often use salmon. I love salmon, I'm from the West Coast and that's kind of what I grew up with. So we use a lot of salmon or halibut, but really you can use any kind of fish that you prefer. The cool thing about this is you can really add it, adjust it, change it to whatever it is that your taste prefer as well. So I'm gonna be using the fin and feather rub from Traeger. I love the Traeger rubs. I have half a pantry full of them. If you don't have this rub, you can actually change in something else. So you can use salt and pepper if you want it really simple. Step one is to open your seasoning and you go like this. And people use all different amounts of this. I am a little bit heavy on the seasoning. I don't know, I just like a little bit more flavor, but it also depends how good the fish is that you're having. If it was frozen, I might use a little more seasoning. If it's really fresh and juicy and full of flavor, I might not use quite as much. Um, so it's just up to your taste as well. And then citrus is always really good with fish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice two lemons and then I'm gonna actually grill them to have the really cool fancy grill marks, which also impresses your friends. And then once it's all cooked, I'm just gonna squirt it on. And while I was doing this, I have my Traeger preheating at 325. And then come on out with me because we're gonna put this on the grill. So my grill is preheated to 325. I'm gonna be using butcher paper for this, so which actually makes it really easy. I prep it all and then you slide it right onto the grill, just like this. You can actually put the fish fillets right onto the grill grates, but if you do, make sure that they're really clean because otherwise it'll stick. So I just use butcher paper to be safe. And then what else you're gonna do is take your lemons that you cut and you're just gonna put them cut side down and then they get really fancy and have the little dark marks on them and it looks like you really know what you're doing even though this recipe does not require skill at all. Um, I'm using mesquite pellets, which is my favorite for fish. You can switch that up if you want something else. And I'm gonna leave it on here for about 10 to 15 minutes roughly to get 145 internal temp, um, kind of depends how you like it, and that's all you do. So the fish has been on here for 12 minutes. The internal temp is right around 145. I'm gonna pull it off. Got my tongs, gonna pull off the lemon. Ooh. And we are gonna go inside and I'll show you how to serve it. And that is how easy that is. So we've got it grilled. All you're gonna do now, if you're gonna plate it, you can cut it into portions. Um, you're gonna take the warm, delicious, juicy lemon. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. If I was cooking this for dinner for our family, I'd usually side it with maybe a sweet potato, which is as easy as this. You just stab it and put it on the grill and cook it for an hour. Or a salad or beans or whatever. We use pretty healthy ingredients if you wanna <laughs> fatten it up add some mac and cheese on the side, whatever you wanna do. It's so easy, it's so quick. It smells absolutely delicious. I'm gonna make sure. It's so good. Yum, yum, yum.